In this video, I'm going to cover Atari 7800 emulation set up in the PC version of RetroArch. Atari 7800 is an easy system to emulate and can run on almost any computer out there. There is very little setup required to get this one up and running, so let's go ahead and dive in. Now, the first thing that we need to get Atari 7800 emulation up and running on our PC is to install RetroArch. As a quick reminder, this is a continuation of my how to install RetroArch tutorial that you can find on my channel in my RetroArch PC tutorials playlist. Link in the description or in the upper right hand corner. After you have RetroArch set up and ready to go, the next thing you're going to need are Atari 7800 games. Now you can dump these with a hardware dumper or resort to the shady parts of the net to get them. I really don't give a crap which way you do it, but don't ask for any download links as that is illegal and I will not be doing it and risking my channel. But once you have your games sourced, you just need to put them in your emulation directory wherever the heck you want to store them. On PC, it doesn't really matter where you store your games, just put them wherever you want, build your folder structure however you want. For my tutorial series, I made a folder named RetroArch Games inside of my tutorial folder, so this is just my example, you don't have to do it like this. But I'm going to drag my Atari 7800 games right into the RetroArch Games folder. And good to go. With those prerequisites out of the way, we are free to launch into RetroArch. Once RetroArch is booted, we are going to go into the online updater and download the Atari 7800 Core. So go to Core Downloader. And then just scroll down a bit until you get to the Atari section, and we are looking for Atari 7800 Pro System. And once that's downloaded, we're free to begin loading up Atari 7800 games, and one method to do so is to go to Load Content, navigate to our directory that we have our games stored in. So for me on the desktop, it's C, Users, User Profile, Desktop, and then I put them in RetroArch PC, RetroArch Games, Atari 7800, and then I would just choose the game and it would load up. I honestly don't like this method, it's kind of long-winded. So what I like to do instead on PC is press F5 on my keyboard. And that brings up the RetroArch desktop menu. And it's saying, hey, welcome to the desktop menu. Hey, thanks, okay. From here, there is a space over on the left, it says playlist. Right click here, new playlist, and type in Atari space dash space 7800 and press enter and now we have a nice Atari 7800 playlist entry here it has a little controller so select that and then over in the main box here right click and tell it to add a folder and now once again just navigate to the folder where you have your Atari 7800 games and when it asks you for a core choose pro system and database Atari 7800 and then press OK. And all of your Atari 7800 games should pop up in this box right here. If you want to make your playlist look prettier, you can right click back over on the Atari 7800 entry over here and tell it to download all thumbnails for this playlist. Now depending on how you have your games, it might find the box arts and title screens and screenshots, or it might fail. It's basically looking for the name of the game and a region code. So if you want, you can edit it, try to rename it to get it to work, or you can manually add in box arts by downloading them and then just dragging them into the box right here. But once the playlist is made, we can go ahead and close out of the RetroArch desktop menu, then go ahead and full screen RetroArch again by pressing the F key, and then just back out to the main menu from wherever you might have been. That's just where I was for an example, but we're just going to tell RetroArch to restart so our Atari 7800 playlist shows up. And once RetroArch reboots, there is now a new Atari 7800 playlist here on the left side of the screen. So to play our Atari 7800 games, all we need to do is select the playlist, and then we could just select a game. And as you see, it found all those box arts for me, so it's looking pretty slick. But to play a game, just select it and tell it to run. Now by default, you can play Atari 7800 games with a keyboard only. But if you want to, you can connect a number of PC-compatible controllers, and RetroArch should automatically detect them. But once you have your controller connected, we are free to just begin playing our Atari 7800 games. There's really not much else to it other than downloading the core and loading up games. So for those of you looking to get Atari 7800 games up and running on your PC, that's really all there is to it. But 
let's go ahead and cover some of the more advanced core options available to us within the Pro System Core. There's actually been some updates since the last time we covered this core. Press F1 on your keyboard to go into the RetroArch Quick Menu. And from here, scroll down to Options. And our first option is Color Depth. By default, it is set to 16-bit, but if you have a compatible system, you can set this to 24-bit to get better colors. Now, this option does require a content restart, so you can just back out, tell it to close the content, and then you can just run it again. Next up is an audio filter, so you can enable this to reduce some of the Atari 7800's audio output. I guess some people call it harsh. I don't know. I I guess I can I can hear that. But you can enable that or disable it here. If you don't like the way it sounds, try enabling it. Um, I don't know. I'm so used to it being off that I can't understand it when it's on, personally. So try this one out and see which one you prefer. And then... If you have that turned on, you can increase the strength here up to 95% or all the way down to 5%. And our last option is dual stick controllers, and this might be of interest to those of you that play Robotron. So basically this maps Player 2's controllers to the right analog stick of your controller, and will give you twin stick support for games like Robotron. Pretty neat option. I don't think I play any of the twin stick supported games, so I haven't been able to test this out myself, but you know, the theory is there and it's pretty neat so if you like to play those games give it a try see what you think but that's going to do it as far as core options are concerned if for whatever reason there are options you want to set on a per game basis say the dual stick controller you want to have on for robotron but off for everything else you can actually save those as a per game override by going up to manage game options here and saving them as game options alternatively if you want to just save an entire core override so every time you load up an atari 7800 game just back out of the options menu, scroll down to Overrides, and save them as a core override. But that's going to do it as far as Atari 7800 emulation is concerned on the PC version of RetroArch. Again, a very quick and easy core to get set up. You just need the games, download the core, and you're off and playing. As always, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments section below, and I'll do my best to try to help you out. But now if you could all do me a huge favor, and please be sure to hit that like or dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's tutorial. And if you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that sub button so you can see when new videos like this or my reviews or other random nonsense goes live. Goes a long way to helping out the channel and keeping it growing, and we're so close to hitting all of our goals thanks to all of you. Just thank you so very much. If you'd like to further help support the channel, also be sure to check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little really goes a long way to keeping this place up and running, and we're just super grateful to all of our champions who have done so. You freaking rock stars keeping this place going. Amazing. But that's going to do it for this one, so until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, stay awesome, and we will see you all back next video.